Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. If you're new make sure you subscribe before you leave and if you're a returning subscriber if for some reason you haven't already hit that little bell down below for notifications on when I put up new videos. I upload twice a week sometimes three times a week with a vlog if I'm feeling like it. As you're seeing from the title of this video I am back with one of my personal favorite hauls and that is with Mod Cloth. I am a part of the Mod Cloth squad. It's probably one of the best things that happened to me so far in 2019 which might sound like I've had a pretty uneventful year to some but I love Mod Cloth and have continued to love mod cloth for I don't know probably about a decade now it's been a long pretty serious relationship so I'm gonna show you guys some pieces I got I'm not gonna make you wait very long also it is sundown right now so I'm gonna try to make this as quick and concise as possible but as per usual grab a snack get comfortable and let's get started in a usual fashion I am going to start with the piece that I'm wearing and it is this super cute romper which it is almost romper season I am so freaking excited we've had a really warm day today and even though it's warm outside it's not quite warm enough to go out in a romper but we're almost there you guys like it's almost about to happen. <laughs> I got this in a size 3x to start before I forget and mod cloth sizing can be a really weird thing to navigate. I remember back in the day you would almost always have to size up but I'm finding that as I get more and more pieces things are really way more true to size than they have ever been. I'm seeing a lot of improvement for the sizing. I feel like a lot of the pieces are truly true to size and this as a 3x is really roomy. I feel like even if a 2x was available and the 3x and the 4x were sold out I could still actually be very very comfortable in a 2x because there's so much room around my belly I am somebody who has a big belly I'm an apple shape if you're new I say that every single video if you're a returning subscriber you know that is something that I have to make sure I'm being mindful of every single time I purchase clothes or put clothes on my body and I'm so pleasantly surprised with how much space I have because I remember the days where rompers were a thing and I wanted so badly to partake but they just were not made for like big belly folks like me so this one's definitely big belly folk friendly and I'm very very happy about that. Not only that but we have some pretty big pockets in here. They're very deep, very accommodating and I love that because if I just wanted to go out maybe like as a beach look I wouldn't really have to bring too much with me. I could put a lot in my pockets and that is a very very good feeling. This is a pretty light fabric as well. It's definitely more of a summer piece versus a spring piece and I'm not somebody who does like browns for summer. For me I associate summer with like pastels and bright colors but I'm actually really liking this as like a color and a theme because I can wear so many different colors with it. It's very neutral so that means I can put any pastels with it or any bright colors with it and really like spruce it up and make it a little bit more me but I'm loving this piece. I wish it was like 25 celsius outside so I could just wear this and honestly it is so cute. I actually have a pair of mustard flats that would go perfectly with this and I'm going on a trip to England and a lot of the pieces that I'm about to show you are pieces that I picked up knowing that I'd want to take with me to England and this is definitely going to come. Just realized you guys had a good view of the mod cloth package. I put that away so it doesn't look as messy but speaking of mustard flats I also picked up a pair of mustard flats. I can't go without picking up shoes every time I place an order. This is the first time I'm taking them out of the package so we're going to be experiencing this new together. Oh my god how cute are these and honestly this together is such a look. I got these in a size 10 I believe. I'm gonna confirm and I'll put them on my foot just to let you know. Yeah so a size 41 size 10. I can already feel that there's so much padding on here and I'm liking that there's like literally the slightest bit of a heel. Any sort of flats can actually be weirdly uncomfortable to walk in if it's just flat does not feel good on the foot at all but I can already tell you that these are going to be really really comfortable and let me just slide them on right now and some of you asked like why do I not show my feet or like my sh my try on of the feet and that's just because I know that there are foot fetishists out there and I'm just not willing to give them content you know what I mean I get enough grotesque comments as it is so I'm just gonna keep 
the feet out of it. Okay, so I'm wearing them on my feet right now and they are definitely not wide foot. So if you're somebody who has more of a wide foot, I would suggest staying away from these or sizing up. I picked these up in a size 10, which if I'm buying anything that's not wide foot, I will always make sure I size up. And I definitely think that like these are going to be stretched out or need to be stretched out a little bit more because they are feeling a little bit tight around my foot. I'm like somebody who has like a little bit more of a narrow foot versus a wide foot and these feel like they're gonna need to be stretched out a little bit, but like in terms of comfiness, like these are a comfy pair of shoes, like really, really comfy. Like I said, they've got all that padding in there. That little bit of a heel, I can already tell it's gonna feel really nice. Only thing that's gonna be a little bit hard to get used to is like the padding kind of thins out here. I can already feel like on my foot that's gonna feel a little bit strange until I kind of like mold my feet into it. But these are a really, really nice pair of shoes. These are probably gonna be a staple for me like all through the spring, all through the summer because I love a good pair of mustard flats and I'm very happy that I picked these up because I was a little bit on the fence at first. I was like, do I need a pair, another pair of mustard flats? And like, to be honest, yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> As I already mentioned, it's romper season. And so I had to pick up this romper when I saw it on the website. Again, we're seeing more of those like neutral tones from Mod Cloth this year. I don't really know about like what other spring, summer trends we're seeing just yet, but I can tell Mod Cloth is kind of introducing more of like a neutral color palette. And I do really like that. Again, there's so much that you can do with it and so much that you can pair with like a neutral color palette. I picked this up in a size 3X and it, again, it's really, really quite loose on me more than I expected it to be. I'm so excited that Mod Cloth is being a little bit more inclusive with their sizing and also kind of fixing the sizing issue because like I said, we kind of had that issue in the past. This is definitely like way more big and billowy um, than maybe a previous 3X would have been. I really, really like this piece, especially the fact that I have adjustable straps because like where it currently sits is a little bit too high on me. But again, I feel like sometimes you kind of play around with different lengths and I just really appreciate when a garment like this shows up and we do have the option to play with length of it. I just think it's really nice to be able to kind of change your pieces depending on how you feel. I stand at about 5'8 and these hit me exactly at ankle length. I can see if you might be a little bit taller than me, this kind of being a little bit more of a short cropped look. All in all, I really like this piece. This is again going to be another one that I definitely take with me to England. It's so comfortable. It's also like perfect for this time of year. How cute would this look with maybe like Ooh, maybe like a mustard jacket or even like just a basic denim will look really cute all together. I also could not go without getting this piece when I saw it on the website. How cute is this bag? I've been loving this whole like wicker purse look. It's so like quintessential summer, spring. I feel like you can put this purse away at like the beginning of the fall and bring it out every summer and it will remain something that you can use and something you can add into your wardrobe. Cause pieces like this really don't, in my opinion, go out of style. And I've been looking for a purse like this for a really long time. This could either be a clutch and then I do believe, yeah, there is an actual like long strap. So you could kind of wear it both ways if you want to. And in terms of like that like wicker purse, it actually feels pretty well made. And this like Pelican here is on there, so I'm not worried about it coming off. And I'm so excited to have this because it's going to be used in so many outfits. Again, another piece I'm definitely gonna bring with me to England because I'm just gonna put it with almost all of my outfits. And I kind of figured that these two together would look really cute because we're seeing a lot of similar colors in the Pelican and in this piece. Even this together would look really cute, but I'm in love with this purse. I'm so excited that I own it because I've been looking for a purse like this for so long. I feel like Pelicans and birds and, you know, and stuff like that. They're just so, they're just those like quintessential summer pieces and prints and stuff like that. And you can honest to God have them every single year. And that's why I've kind of decided to start like slowly start adding more into my wardrobe every summer. Um, and that way I'll have my accessories ready to go. Last but not least, and if you've been watching me for a while, you won't be shocked because I've been collecting a pretty big collection of these. I had to pick up these super cute wide leg pants and this like really cute mint color color. I am in love with mint, especially now that I'm a redhead because mint and red look so good together. Like, can you see that? That is beautiful. I'm obsessed. And I picked these up in a size 22 before I forget. It's a perfect fit. Not too big, not too small. It fits me beautifully. And I'm kind of sort of figuring out what my size is these days. I've gained a little bit of weight, so I feel like my size is changing. So a 22 might be a little bit more true to size. So kind of just read the reviews if you can, because right now I'm kind of sort of in between sizes and I'm all over the place. But I do feel like these are pretty well made and pretty true to size. I will 
will say though that I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more room in the torso area, but that again is just something that can kind of be a hit or miss whenever you get sort of like wide leg pants. And then I was also kind of hoping that would be a little bit more high waisted. Again, I stand at 5'8 and these are about the same length as the play suit that I showed you. So it's a pretty good length, not too long, not too short, but just be mindful if you're like a little bit taller, a little bit shorter than me. I love these. Again, they are going to go into my suitcase when I go to England. And I have so many different tops that I could wear with this. I could put yellow with it. I could put, I could put white or pink. Just so many different tops to put with it. And hey, that would even look good together too. I don't even need anything else. I feel like I've got my entire wardrobe figured out right here. So many different freaking pieces that can go together. And even the mustard flats would look really cute with this. If you've ever like kind of had questions about how to style green, just think of it like a flower and the fact that the flower and the stem or the plant or whatever is green and think about all the colors that look so beautiful on a plant or on a flower and just kind of think of it like that. That's kind of how I pair green. All right, you guys, well, that is everything for the try-on portion of this video. I didn't have a crazy amount of stuff. I know I am talking a little bit fast because the sun is literally going down behind me and I want to make sure that I got everything in with good lighting still working in my favor. I want to thank Mod Cloth again for sending me these pieces. This isn't sponsored by the way. I don't even have to make a video. Every single time I haul for Mod Cloth, it only seems to be getting better and better and better and my impression of them only seems to be getting better and better, which I didn't think was possible, but like truly all of these pieces are just... A plus. I want to know which of these pieces were your favorites in the comments below if you guys are getting excited about spring and summer fashion. And also I'm going to leave you with a question. What do you feel is your favorite spring and summer trend that you're excited to see come back every single year? Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. So don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday, a new blog post every Tuesday and every Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I see no reason why I should ever let you go